Okay, uh, welcome back. So this is going to be a really quick video. I just wanted to go through how I'm going to make the art assets for the row and column bombs. So uh, I'm using Affinity Designer. You can do the exact same thing in Inkscape, which is a free program. Inkscape's a little wonky on Mac, though, so that's why I'm using this one. Um, and Adobe Illustrator, too, of course. I'm going to create a new document. I'm going to make it uh, 512 by 512 because that's what my dots were when I made them. Uh, click OK, and I'm going to make a few shapes here, just super quickly. So first, I'm going to use the rectangle tool, and I'm just going to eyeball this, honestly. Uh, then I'm going to use my shape tool to create a triangle, and about like that. I'm going to rotate this uh, 90 degrees. There we go. And then I'll move it right to the end of this, okay, um, and then I will duplicate the triangle, control J, and bring it over here, and I'm going to mirror it that way, and I'm going to put it uh, about, say, right there. I'm going to take these three shapes, and I'm going to join them. Do, do, do. Oh, is that the wrong thing? Is it this one? Yeah, that's what I wanted. Okay, cool. So I'm going to move this so that it's roughly snapping to the center of the screen. And then I want to do some uh, kind of uh, curving out the edges here. So I'm going to choose my edge tool. Actually, no, sorry, not my edge tool. This one. And I'm going to select... Is it shift I have to use on this? Yeah, it's shift. So I'm going to shift select a bunch of these here. Oops. And uh, I'm just doing them all at once so that I can get the same kind of curve. I'm going to make it super curvy. And then I'm going to select these inside ones because these need the opposite kind of curve. So here, 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 and here. I'm going to make this pretty curvy too. All right, cool. I'm going to go back to this tool. And I want to bring these in just a little bit. They're a bit too... No, I don't want to do that. Uh, they're a bit too far apart. So I'm going to grab this one. Bring it in. And I'm, I'm seriously just eyeballing this. So... I'll include the art for this in the project files, and there'll be a link to it in the description. So I'm going to go to, let's make this pure white. I know it kind of fades in with the background then. I'm going to go to export, and I'm going to export this as a 512 by 512 PNG. Hit export, and I'm going to call this uh, arrow. And then I'll save it. And I won't need to make another one for the other bomb because it's just the same arrow. I'm just going to rotate it. So, yeah. I hope to get the next video on how to actually implement this game mechanic uh, done maybe later today or maybe early tomorrow. Um, I really, really hope to get the release schedule kind of a little faster now that things have settled down a bit in my life. So, um, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the description below. Or in the comments below, sorry. <laughs> uh, I hope you have a wonderful day.